Welcome back, Rangers and Helldivers, to some breaking news. New info from Arrowhead Studios, new info from Super Earth. Let's dive right in to the front. So at this very moment, we have we have two updates. We have a tectonic drill upgrades and an arsenal augmentation. The Ministry of Science has rapidly engineered upgrades to the tectonic drill used to deploy the dark fluid on Meridia. The upgraded drills will propagate ultrasonic frequencies through the ground, preventing termicide breaches terminated in its immediate vicinity. Now, Patriarch citizens have organized to support the destruction of Meridia by making homemade napalm. <laughs> Thanks to this grassroots effort, Napalm Eagle Strikes will augment all loadouts until Operation Enduring Peace concludes. So, big things, Helldivers. You'll be able to have that Eagle Napalm Airstrike ready to go whenever you need it on Meridia. Meridia is the high priority mission. Above all, we must complete this mission. With that being said, the assault on the Super Colony appears to have spurred an increase in the terminate outbreaks on other planets. Scientists have likened this response to a kicked hornet's nest from the beloved childhood pastime. High Command advises Helldivers to maintain focus on the Super Colony. This may be our only chance to destroy it. One of our Rangers are currently deployed as a Helldiver on Meridia, and he's been experiencing quite an act active bug breaches along with many, many shriekers. Now, don't remember, Helldivers, that once you activate that those three drills and Dark Fluid has been um, dispersed, you will have a high amount of shriekers coming in upon extraction. So be wary, be careful, call down your shield generators and disperse that sweet democracy and support each other. And let's stay alive out there. And now, another helpful tip from General Brass. Uh oh, wait, Brass Tactics, get out of here. You already have much to floor. Move, go, let's move on. All right, now let's get to more important things. Super Earth has um, let us know from the Superstore, those of you who might already know at this very moment, the Superstore does have some medic gear. I believe it is medium armor. We also have some democratic grenade armor that gives you two additional grenades. So if you're interested in any of those, check out the Superstore right now. Your personal order that you are tasked with with today is to kill 60 enemies with the AMR rifle or anti-material rifle. Get out there, Helldivers, disperse democracy and get those 15 medals. Moving on to further news, we have now received information as a patch from Arrowhead Studios. This is patch one. 000305. The current fix that has been implemented to resolve the issues regarding the spawn of enemies on drills during the Operation Enduring Peace Order mission. Now, known issues currently on screen. There are issues that were either introduced by this patch or being worked on and are from a previous version and or have not yet been fixed. Players may not have the option to send accept or decline friend requests. Players may not have the option to block other players. Blocked players are not added to the blocked player list or prevented from joining games. Game may crash if the player changes the text language while on a mission. Players may experience delays in medals and super credit payouts. Players may occasionally receive excessive XP. Enemies that bleed out do not progress personal orders and eradicate missions. Arc weapons sometimes behave consistently and sometimes misfire. We did have an instance where uh, we attempted an arc build. My, my community, along with I've seen some other L divers do it too, didn't work out too well. Moving on, most weapons shoot below the crosshair when aiming down the sights. The AR-61 Tenderizer deals too little damage and is not in the final state we are intending. Fierce targeting is inconsistent, making it hard to lock on to larger enemies. Stratagem beam might attach itself to an enemy, but it will deploy to its original location. Helldivers may be unable to stand up from crouching when surrounded by enemies. I have experienced in this firsthand, just spam that get up button is all I can say. Hand carts ship module does not reduce shield generator packs cooldown. Super Earth is still working on that airhead. Some players might become stuck in the loadout when joining a game in progress. Reinforcement may not be available for some players who join a game in progress. And then lastly, Planet Liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. And these are the current known issues. Now, a big update from Airhead Studios and what we've all been waiting for is the big balance patch and the more to come with this. They have informed us as of today, June 1st, 
saying, we wanted to finally give you an idea of what's going on with our patch. First of all, our next patch is expected in the second week of June, which is awesome. Second, they've also pushed out an emergency hotfix, as we just read, um, to address the enemy spawn on the drills in the current major order. And you can see all this information in the Discord, of course. Here we go. You're right, we've slowed down our cadence for patches. We'll go into more detail about it in an upcoming blog, but the short version is that dedicating more time to each patch will allow us to provide a higher quality standard and reduce the pressure on our teams. At Arrowhead, the physical and mental health of the team is very important to us and maintaining a long-term sustainable workplace is crucial for our developers and staff to avoid putting anyone at risk of burnout, which is totally commendable. So additionally, the cadence on which we were patching left us little time to engage with the community or build Hill Divers 2 alongside our players in meaningful ways. This slower pace enables us to focus our energy more effectively, resulting in more impactful updates and a more enjoyable gaming experience for everyone. And then you are also right that we should have communicated this change more clearly from the start. And then Arrowhead says they sincerely thank you all the Helldiver community for your patience and support as they make the adjustment. Now, this information is great to hear. We, I, I must say, they did release the patch like a 3.05 a.m. I believe it was, was the timestamp for me in Central Time. So they are working around the clock to get these things fixed for us. As you guys all know, when it comes to making a game, just being honest here and sticking with the news from Super Earth, but with the de development of this game, there are lo lots of things that they're having to work on, to update, to fix, and they're getting to us as fast as they can without, like they said, burning out. And I really appreciate them bringing out this patch so quickly. I know it wasn't uh, the day of, but it was the next day. And so grateful, Arrowhead Studios, for all your hard work in this. Helldivers, let's continue to support them. Let's get, let's drop down on Meridia. Don't forget, if you want to join me on live stream, Strider of Valor, Democracy Officer, um, we will be live streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays. There will be a pop up stream possibly today. Join us in the Discord, get involved in the community. And Helldivers, please let us know your experience on Meridia in the comments below. Stay vigilant, stay ready, stay safe. And ultimately, Let's destroy Meridia for Super Earth. See you on the next news video.